I'm Bobby Welwer, and these are this week's top five stories from Hudson Valley Post. A registered sex offender living in the Hudson Valley is accused of sexually abusing several Hudson Valley minors. Police say following a two-month investigation, Justin Ross was arrested for having sexual contact with several minors. The 22-year-old is facing a number of charges, including rape. Back in 2016, he was arrested for sexually abusing a 14-year-old girl. Police released the name of the man who was found murdered in a Poughkeepsie home. Following calls that a man was being tied up and beaten, police found Frederick Joey Reach of Ulster County dead inside the home. 49-year-old David Perry allegedly told police that he and 19-year-old Dan Berletta tried to rob an unknown man and during that struggle, the 28-year-old died. Both Poughkeepsie men are facing murder charges. A woman from the Hudson Valley is engaged to the 2017 World Series MVP. Charlize Castro Sorgates is engaged to Houston Astros outfielder George Springer. The two met while Castro played international softball. Castro attended Kingston High School and was a three-sport star. She then played Division I softball at UAlbany. The two plan to get married in January. Hudson Valley weather experts took a look into the rumor that the Hudson Valley could see a major snowstorm around Thanksgiving. Some forecasters say a polar vortex may be taking aim at our area and bringing with it a major winter storm. According to Hudson Valley Weather, they have no data that shows a storm event in our area, but the weather forecast could change. The site adds we should be prepared for very cold temps around the holiday. Finally, a Hudson Valley officer is dead after getting shot in the head while off duty in Orange County. Authorities say Frank Farina was driving in Woodbury on Route 6 when he was shot in the head. The 42-year-old then lost control of his car and hit a barrier on the side of the road. A female passenger was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police are investigating how he got shot and at this point haven't made any arrests. For more on these stories and the information your community is sharing, follow the conversation at HudsonAlleyPost.com.